Buckle up, Buttercup, because we've got a whole mountain of new leaked material coming out of IBM. Oh, yeah, we do. And it's it's very political. It's extremely political. But we're talking about one of the world's largest and oldest big tech companies. I mean, IBM is the original evil empire of the computing world. It, it's been around forever, and it has an absolutely massive impact on the entire computer industry. They own Red Hat for crying out loud. So we're going to be talking about all the stuff coming out of IBM about that. We're getting just deluged with non-stop wall-to-wall whistleblowers and leaks coming forward to talk about their time inside Red Hat, inside IBM, and some of the various IBM subsidiaries, and some other big tech companies too. So the Lunduke Journal is going to be covering a lot of those, but we're being careful about it. We're being very careful about it. Today, we're going to talk about some of those leaks, including the mandatory diversity and inclusion training inside IBM, and the fact that IBM had a book club that literally read and promoted the white fragility book. I mean, it just, there's just a lot, a lot of just very bizarre things happening within IBM. And we're going to go over it bit by bit. I'm carefully releasing this. I'm going through literally hundreds and hundreds of screenshots, emails, word documents, just, just a massive pile of it. I'm reading every word indexing it, cataloging it, verifying it, fact checking it, and and reaching out to my sources with inside IBM to try and make sure that these are legitimate pieces of information that are being leaked to us. And uh, so far they have been everything has checked out, but we're still being very careful and releasing them a little bit at a time as we verify everything. Now I'm going to read part of this article to you. And I've got some additional thoughts on this. If you want to read the article for yourself, go on over to conservativenerds.locals.com. That is where all of the, let's just say, more politically charged content that I produce is located. Now, now it doesn't really matter if I have political ideas about what we're about to talk about. The mere fact that I'm reporting on this is in and of itself politically charged. If you want to avoid all that, you know, turn this off right now. Uh, Don't ever go to conservativenerds.locals.com where where all of that is located and just stick to lunduke.locals.com because lunduke.locals.com is all about the tech and doesn't allow any politics. We like to keep things separate so that if you don't want politics in your life of any kind, stay on lunduke.locals.com. It's all good there. But if you want all of these whistleblowers and leaks and all of this inside information that's coming out about Red Hat and IBM and Microsoft coming very soon, uh, you're going to want to go over to conservativenerds.locals.com and read the articles that are getting posted there on a regular basis now. It is it's it's actually it's it's fairly exciting what's coming out in a oh my gosh, am I watching a train wreck sort of way. It, it's truly almost horrific stuff is being leaked out on the regular. And I want to take a moment to thank and applaud the bravery of all of the whistleblowers who are providing me this information and to the people inside of IBM who continue to have contact with me to verify and vet this information with me. I, I truly appreciate it. You're doing a very valuable service for everyone in the tech world. All right. All right. Let's let's read this article here. I, seriously, go over to conservativenerds.locals.com and at least get a free account, though. Go, go do that so you don't miss it. There's a lot more leaked material that's going to be released just in the next few days, not even talking about the next few weeks. So go grab it right now so you don't miss it. Uh, We all know, thanks to the leaked allyship kickoff presentation, that there has been a significant racist anti-white movement within Red Hat and parent company IBM over the last few years, one which has had at least some level of support from Red Hat and IBM leadership. Just a side note. If you have not yet read up on the allyship kickoff presentation, uh, this was leaked to the Lunduke Journal. Uh, we we uh, it was about a week ago, and uh, we have an article up on it. In fact, we published the entire presentation with all the slide notes up at conservativenerds.locals.com. So you can read the whole thing for yourself. You don't have to rely on anyone's interpretation of it or feelings about it. You can just read it exactly as written without any edits. 
so you can make up your own mind about it. There are some other outlets that have been covering it, and that's fantastic. We love to see that the, all of this stuff get coverage. It's awesome. The more coverage on this, the better. Uh, but uh, if you want to go ahead and grab just the full thing, go to conservativenerds.locals.com. All right, I continue now. But how pervasive are those anti-white views throughout IBM? Now, thanks to new material leaked to the Lunduk Journal via brave whistleblowers, we are learning that not only has a diversity and inclusion training been forced upon employees, but IBM hosted book clubs for such racist works as White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. <laughs> I should note that the following is a very small portion, uh, just like we talked about, of a leak containing well over 100 Slack messages and emails from within IBM. In fact, that number has grown substantially as new whistleblowers has come out. That's have, have, have contacted us. Uh, the London Journal is carefully documenting and vetting each item prior to publication. All right, so let's talk about the mandatory diversity and inclusivity training. The following 2020 internal IBM email from Sherry Boxstein, uh, which who is the current CEO of The Weather Company. Uh, you know The Weather Channel, right? Well, The Weather Channel became The Weather Company and IBM bought The Weather Company. <laughs> so they're part of IBM. Uh, states the following in the email. Quote, I have developed a diversity and inclusion learning plan for all Watson advertising and weather employees, basically divisions of IBM. Every two weeks, you will receive new learning activities that you must complete. End quote. Note the usage of the word must here. This is not optional training, right? Uh, I'm including here a screenshot of the full internal email announcement. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing here, but it's it's right there for you. You can go go to the article, read the whole gosh darn thing, because I'm trying to make sure that I'm not leaving anything out. So there's no context missing. Now, what exactly is the content included within the diversity inclusion learning plan? That remains to be seen. But if the previously leaked related content is any indication, it likely, likely has to do with promoting anti-white racism, which almost all of the content we've received so far is. I should point out that if anyone has copies of the diversity and inclusion learning plan, please reach out to the Lunduke Journal. You can, you can email me at brian, B-R-Y-A-N, at lunduke.com and i will of course honor your confidentiality i do not reveal my sources or whistleblowers ever under any circumstances now lest we assume that this was a one-off or a passing whim here we have a follow-up email from the same vice president where she reminds employees that there is a deadline to complete the training quote diversity inclusion learning plan pages updated with the materials for learning phase three please complete these materials by friday July 24th, and then followed by instructions to log their compliance within a personal learning time tracking system. And here's a screenshot of, of that message uh, from that vice president. Uh, again, you can go go look at all of them. You can view the full version, full size versions of all the screenshots of all of these, download them and <laughs> print them out and, you know, put a magnet and put them on their fridge, whatever you want to do with them. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about the anti-white IBM book club. Now, thanks to this particular whistleblower, we've also learned that internal IBM Slack channels were set up to host a book club. <laughs> a book club where the famously racist White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo was read and discussed within IBM. On IBM time and using IBM resources. <laughs> Very, very, very real, very real thing. Uh, so anti-white corporate sanctioned presentations, mandatory diversity inclusion training, and a company book club for racist anti-white books. Um, and you add these leaks sent to the Lunduke Journal to the other links, who, which were, were sent to O'Keefe Media Group, to James O'Keefe, regarding IBM's discriminatory hiring practices, which we have more of coming out tomorrow. Uh, and a clear picture is forming of the inside of IBM and IBM subsidiaries. Uh, now, I want to I want to re reiterate some things. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg, the very, very top. 
The Lunduke Journal has over 100 files. Now, I, when, at the time I wrote this article, it was 100 files. It's, it's a lot more than that now. Uh, and a huge thanks to, to everyone who has sent everything in. Um, even though we have a ton, keep it coming. Uh, we're going over it very slowly and very methodically. And uh, uh, we've got a lot to review in the days ahead. Uh, in addition, I, I want to repeat this, to documents emails, screenshots from other big tech companies. This is this is not just uh, about IBM, not just about Red Hat, though they are a, a definite focus at the moment and they will be for a couple days to come. Uh, a couple of notes. The Lunduke Journal is adamant about protecting the identities of whistleblowers. Always, always, always. If you want to stay anonymous, just say so in your email to me and you will remain anonymous, end of story. Uh, content leaked to the Lunduke Journal is carefully vetted via, prior to publication, and representatives from the related companies are regularly contacted for comment, even if they don't like to respond. In fact, I have contacted representatives from Red Hat and IBM repeatedly, many, many contacts in their, in their press department, executives, marketing individuals, people specifically referenced in these, uh, in these materials, in these emails, all sorts of things. I have not received any response from any of them to date. They have gone radio silent on everything. No denials, no nothing. I have, however, had great luck in talking with sources inside of IBM and inside of Red Hat who have been very helpful in verifying the authenticity of everything I have published thus far. Um, whistleblowers from big tech companies can contact Lunduke directly via email, B-R-Y-A-N at Lunduke.com. Uh, I, I, I can't say how impressed I am with the people who have come forward. Uh, it is It is really... I am impressed with your bravery because a lot of people, they're afraid of losing their jobs. And uh, I think with the, the next leak that we'll be talking about in the next video, I think I think a lot of you will see a little more clearly why. And uh, I'm just I'm just incredibly impressed. I'm incredibly impressed with all of you. Uh, again, if you have not grabbed your subscription to the conservative nerds.locals.com or to the Lunduke Journal in general, go to lunduke.com. There's links there to every arm of the Lunduke Journal, all three, all three parts of the, the Lunduke Journal Triforce of Nerdiness. And uh, you can get free subscriptions to whichever parts of it you like. You can pay for a subscription to whatever parts you like and help support the big tech free, no big tech influence here, advertising free content that we're doing and uh, and the work Work that we're doing here it's 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 a lot it's a lot of work so I, I definitely would appreciate the support it's absolutely not mandatory though you can always enjoy at least a good chunk of the free material that we we produce here uh, just by getting a free account over at conservativenerds.locals.com or for the politics free side at lunduke.locals.com all right everybody boys and girls nerds and nerdettes without further ado I do declare and broadcast.